Let's go over Slice, Combine, Attach, Flatten, and Contour for the final part of the Design Space Tour. Now Slice allows you to take two shapes or images and create a cutout where they overlap. But this also keeps all those cut pieces in the Layers panel and you can decide what parts you want to keep in the design. Then we have Combine, which has several options to choose from. The first one is Weld, which is going to combine two or more shapes along the original cut outline. So when I select these two shapes, they'll become one, and the outline will come together where I place them. Now Weld is a permanent action and makes everything one layer right away. Next we have Unite, which is similar to Weld, but you'll see that it doesn't permanently connect the two layers. You'll see in the Layers panel, each shape is still there and you can select each one to adjust it. Now with Subtract, this will cut the top layer out of the bottom layer where they overlap. So you can see that because a circle was a top layer, it cuts a chunk out of the heart. Intersect will remove everything except what is overlapping. So it's kind of the opposite of subtract and it keeps only the parts of both shapes that touch where they overlap. Then we have exclude, which will remove the overlapped section and leave the rest of the cut outline. Now you may have noticed that subtract, intersect, and exclude are basically a more straightforward approach to slice, but all of those other options keep the original layers in the layers panel instead of just all the individual pieces. So if you want to make this change permanent, instead of having those layers there, we're going to click on the results of whatever tool you used, and then you can either right click on the image or in the layers panel, then click merge layers there, or hit combine and merge layers. This then creates one merge layer, just like the weld function. Now, if you don't like the result of the action, you can also select the cut result, then click combine and undo. So next we have attach, and this is what we use when we want the machine to perform two different functions but keep the parts of the design on the same layer. So say we want to write a word on this heart and then cut the heart out. We'll first change the operation of the text to draw, then size the shape to fit and do any adjustments that need to be done. Then we'll select the two layers and click attach. Then you can also select detach to go back and make changes. But again, each layer still shows in the layers panel and you can make adjustments to each one. But when you click make it and you go to the matte screen, which you'll see in a second, the layers will show as one unit and you'll be prompted to put in the pen first to draw the text and then the blade to cut out the shape. Our next feature is Flatten, which is primarily used for print then cut projects like stickers or card embellishments. So if we take a shape and an image and layer one over top of the other, we can use the Flatten tool to make them into one layer. And this is known as a print then cut image. So we can adjust colors and sizes and rearrange whatever we need to do 
And then once we're ready for our image to be flattened, we'll press flatten and make them into one layer to be printed. Now, of course, this works with a printer. So if you don't have a printer available, I wouldn't use this feature. Now, flatten also works with offset to add a background border for added dimension with cardstock projects or to create stickers. And here's that offset feature. We talked about this in the part three video, but you can also use the new create sticker feature. And I won't go into too much detail on this because I did a separate video testing this out. So I'll go ahead and link to that one. So finally, let's talk about contour. This function is great for customizing the designs available in Design Space and really being able to make your project unique. So let's use this image. And first I ungrouped the layers because there are multiple groups together in this design. And once we're in contour, we can click directly on the image to hide the pieces we don't want or we can scroll along the panel on the right side and just click off each box. The pieces that are dark will remain in the design and all parts we don't want are whited out. Now, once we're happy with the result, we can regroup this and use it as a base with our own text or whatever else we wanna add or customize it even further by using different colors adding a shape in the background, whatever you want to do. So leave any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.